So I'm gonna go with the sw sweet heat first. You're just going straight up. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Y'all, this is. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Uh, Brad has been fishing a lot with MDLR, and it's so awesome. Their new videos that they put out are fantastic. But I am so glad to be back on the boat with Brad. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't have picked a better day to come back and fish anyway because it's been super, super windy, and today is nice and slick. We were driving over the Galveston uh, Galveston Bridge. Water was glistening, crystal clear, and nice and smooth. So hopefully we catch some awesome fish and we'll see you out there. Sit right here, catch five, and go home. <laughs> They're in here. Look, there's a little swirl right there. That's up on that little shallow shelf. We we we'll stay in this deep water for a few minutes, and then we may make a drift, kind of start troll motoring around, you know, search until we find them. They're in here. They didn't all they didn't all just up and leave this little bayou. We just gotta find them. There's the first one. There we go. <laughs> That's what I do. Nice, nice, nice. What is it? A little, it's a little, it's a little baby redfish. <laughs> cool. Oh, little bitty guy. Cool. Make sure I don't have smuts all over my lens. All right, we're on the. What did I tell you? I was gonna get my tail bit off, and, and they were gonna catch a fish. Yeah. What I told you. Good call. All right, get in the water. Let's catch them. Yeah, throw that direction. Throw it towards that kayaker. God, ah, it's beautiful out here today. That's a trout too, babe. I'm two thirds away to a nursery slam right now. There he is. He's a little bit small. There we go, guys. Not that anyone's keeping score. Okay, you and the That's two to nothing. Not that we're keeping score. All right. Saying you let them <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going fishing with you anymore. Mm -mm. No more. Huh? It feels nice out here. Yeah, it's been slow for a few minutes. A little dinker. There we go. Took a little while to get another one, didn't it? Go on back home, little fella. If I were counting, that would be three to zero. But I'm not counting. Are you counting? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's a, oh, I thought it was a better fish. It is not. If I really meant so, a shark will eat him. <laughs> Those redfish are up on this little shallow flat, I think. Ate that hooked up bait, so. Man, it's just so much slower today. They're so cold, it feels like you pulled them out of a cooler. They're so cold. When you catch one, you'll get to see. <laughs> I forgot my, my hand cloth. I'm gonna wipe my hands on my pants. He's up on that flat. I'm mad at you right now. <laughs> you're, just, <laughs> you're just having bad luck today, baby. All righty, y'all. So I am skunking today. I cannot catch a fish to save my life, and Brad has caught three. And that, oh, four. Oh, excuse me. He has caught four fish, and I can't let that happen. So normally guacamole is my go to lucky color, but I'm going to switch it up now to Hooked Up Baits Gold Digger. This is a really, really pretty color. Uh, we'll post the link down below if you want to order some of these brad likes uh pearl and chartreuse and what's the uh code brad king seven five kings king seven five for 15 for 15 percent off yep so go ahead and order some of you some of these for y'all so crazy we could see the bottom you never see the bottom here either never ever ever see the bottom that's so beautiful if it wasn't so cold i'd say let's go for a swim <laughs> go for a, a west bay snorkel yeah Alrighty, YouTube, I hope y'all enjoyed that footage. Uh, it was a beautiful, 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 beautiful day on the water. No wind, the water was crystal clear, it was gorgeous. Brad ended up getting four little trout in the boat. Actually, no, you got how many trout? Two trout, two reds. Two trout and two reds in the boat. Uh, y'all, I didn't catch a thing. Zero, not even a nibble. So I don't know what's going on with me this year. I'm sure tomorrow morning at work, Larry Ray is gonna be sending me an IM asking why Brad spanked me again in fishing, but I don't know. I'm just waiting for the big fish, Larry Ray. I'm waiting for the big fish. So uh, like I said, I hope y'all enjoy the footage. Stay tuned, Brad is going to make some egg rolls, fish egg rolls. And I think he's mentioned that in the last video and we've already gotten comments saying how excited y'all are to see that. Uh, my girlfriend Brooke's gonna come over and she's gonna give her opinion too. So stick with us and uh, we'll see you out there. All right guys, welcome to the kitchen. So we had a fun day on the water today. We didn't catch a whole lot of fish. We fished for about an hour and a half, caught a couple. What we're gonna do is the fish I caught yesterday with uh, Mark and Christian, I kept that fish. I cleaned that fish. So this is a catch cook, not a catch cleaning cook, because you've seen me cat clean trout before. So what we're gonna do today is something a little bit different. We're gonna do fish egg rolls. This is gonna be exciting. So I'm gonna put a little Texas flair on it. I'm gonna put a little Asian flair on it. I'm really excited how this is gonna turn out. So here's our ingredients, guys. Here's what we've got. We're gonna make it easy on ourselves, and we've got pre-chopped coleslaw, our pre coleslaw. It's got our cabbage, it's got our carrots, everything in it. We're gonna use rice paper wrappers instead of traditional egg roll wrappers. There's a YouTuber I follow, um, Outdoor Chef Life, who did this, and I really enjoyed it, so we're gonna try that. Fish sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil, hoisin, and some fresh ginger, jalapenos, green onions, and our trout. We're gonna mix that all together, and we're gonna put that inside of our wrappers, and then we're gonna fry those to make egg rolls with the trout. So we're gonna season the trout up spicy, kind of a southwest -y kind of style, and then we're gonna add that into all these ingredients, Mix that all around with the fish sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of soy, and then a little bit of hoisin, and then we're gonna put that all together, put that inside the wrapper, roll it up, fry it, have egg rolls. The exciting thing that we have for these today is we have got this hot sauce that one of our subscribers sent us, and this is called Fired Up Hot Sauce. This stuff looks fun. This is gonna be our first try of Fired Up Hot Sauce. I cannot wait to try this stuff. So we're gonna give that a whirl, give that a taste and see how it goes. And we really wanna appreciate Mr. Andrew for sending that to us. Andrew, thank you so much, brother. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a link 
to Mr. Andrew's fired up hot sauce in the description. So if you go down below, if you want to try this hot sauce, which we'll see here shortly how this is with fish egg rolls. Guys, we got our boneless, skinless, speckled trout. All we're going to do is take and rub these down with a little bit of olive oil, make sure there's no bones in it. Then we're going to season them up with a little bit of a spicy, uh, kind of a spicy spice blend. So I'm just going to take my little knife here. I'm going to cut the center bones out. Just like with any fish, we don't want we don't want bone in egg rolls. Take that little bit out there. Same thing on this side. Cut that little piece out. Cut that little piece out. Now I'm gonna hit these little pieces with just a little bit of oil and a little seasoning. Just a little bit of oil just to help the seasoning stick to it. Then we're gonna get our pan hot and get ready to get these things cooked up. All right, guys, you've seen this on the channel before. This is just a jerk seasoning. I know we're going wild here. I know we've got a Chinese method, Vietnamese rice paper, Jamaican jerk seasoning, speckled trout, jalapenos, and hot sauce on egg rolls. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna work. Just because it ain't right, don't mean it ain't good. So I'm gonna hit these a little bit with this. This has got a sweet factor to it. It's got a little bit of sugar in it. It's got a little bit of heat. It's got some chili flake in it. If you guys watch the channel and you've seen us cook before, you know we use this quite a bit. This is really good stuff. All right, so I got my fish seasoned up. Let the oil get hot and we're gonna put that on there. Grease is hot. Add our little Jamaican seasoned trout. And here we're just gonna brown this up. We're just gonna cook it down. Nothing fancy, cook it till it's done. We're gonna shred that and add it to all our other ingredients. So all we wanna do is just make sure that's cooked. Man, that trout looks good. All right, let's give them a flip, check on them. Oh yeah, we're starting to fall apart. We're right there. Like I said, since we're gonna shred this, I'm gonna let it cook all the way through. Just to make sure it falls apart, it's nice and even. Man, that's looking good. Cool, couple more minutes here, then we're gonna move over here and start building our stuffing for our egg rolls. All right guys, so a few minutes ago, I chopped this up for you. I thought I recorded it, but I didn't. So all we have here is fresh sliced jalapeno. We have some fresh ginger, fresh green peppers. That's all this is, and a little bit of fresh garlic. So it's nothing too crazy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bag of this pre-made, pre-chopped coleslaw, which is just green cabbage and shredded carrot. And we're gonna add that in here. It's already chopped, we don't have to mess with it. We're gonna add that in here. We're not making a whole lot of egg rolls. So we don't need a whole bag. We're just gonna, just about like that, about half a bag of this pre-made coleslaw. Corey got us at HEB. The fish is finishing up, so I'm gonna kind of mix that green onion, that jalapeno, the ginger, and that fresh garlic around in there real quick. And then we're gonna start seasoning this up. So we're gonna add sesame oil. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sesame oil. We're gonna add soy sauce. We're gonna add, I don't know, I'm gonna guess this, say half a cup. Let's say a quarter cup of soy sauce. I don't want the stuffing to be wet, but I want it to have that nice flavor. And then, guys, now we're gonna add the secret sauce. This is fish sauce. I don't know if any of you guys are into to eating pho or eating Vietnamese food, but I love fish sauce. Fish sauce is very pungent odor. We're adding about two tablespoons of that in there. It's very strong. It smells like, it smells like if you forgot to clean out your bait well. If you got a couple of pints of shrimp and you went fishing, if you got to take it all out of there, that's kind of what it smells like. But I'm telling you, man, if you can get past the smell, you'll enjoy the flavor. A lot of my friends kind of turn their nose up to it and fish sauce is kind of where they draw the line with me and my weird foods. But I think if you go at it with an open mind, I think you'll find out that fish sauce is awesome. We're gonna add a little bit of hoisin, just regular hoisin, and then we're gonna salt and pepper this, and then we're gonna mix this all up. So a little bit of hoisin, a good solid squeeze. Sorry, I don't have exact measures for you guys. I kind of, I kind of cook from the hip. I really don't know what I'm adding to it. I just kind of add stuff. So let's grab us a fork here. And let's stir this mixture up. So we've got fresh jalapenos, 
fresh garlic, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, if I hadn't said that yet. Then we've got shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, green onions, fish sauce, hoisin, and a little bit of sesame oil. So what we're gonna do now is salt and pepper this, and we're gonna start building our egg rolls. This right here looks like the best salad you've ever had in your life. So let me get the fish in here, salt and pepper it, and let's rock and roll. All right, guys. So now we're gonna add our fish. This is our speckled trout that we cooked in that Jamaican seasoning. It's nice and flaky. And we're gonna add that in there, and then we're gonna stir that in around into our mixture. So now we got our speckled trout mixed in with all of our fantastic vegetables. It's just in a little bit of a Jamaican season. I know none of these flavors sound like they make sense, but I'm telling you, man, this is gonna be good. Egg rolls are about what you want in them. That's what I believe. I don't think that an egg roll has to be Napa cabbage, carrots, pork. I don't think it has to be anything particular. I think it's just whatever you want. So salt and pepper, make some wrappers, and then we'll fry these up. All right guys, so now for the interesting part. I've got our rice paper here. And what I have to do is I have to soak this in warm water for just a few minutes. So we take out a sheet of rice paper and we soak it just a minute in warm water. This makes it pliable, makes it easy to move. All right. So now we're gonna do is set this down. This is crazy. I have no idea how this is gonna work. Now for the fun part. Now we're gonna roll our egg roll. We're gonna take one of our sheets of rice paper. You can see this is it's stiff. It's not pliable. It's not what we want. So what we have to do is take this into warm water and soak it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it soft and malleable, I guess, so that you can shape it into an egg roll. So we get it all nice and wet. Now we're gonna let this soak up a little bit of that water for a second, and it's become where we can roll it. We wanna be able to fold the edges and roll this thing up. So let's give that thing just a second to get soft, and then we'll rock and roll with it. All right, here we go. So we got our mixture. Gonna put it right in here in the corner. We got one of the corners facing us, one of the corners facing away in a diamond shape. What we're gonna do is take this first corner, kind of tuck it in there a little bit. We're gonna put a little more in that one. There we go, that looks a little more like an egg roll. Tuck it under. Then we're gonna bring our sides over. Right side. Left side, and then we're gonna roll it up nice and tight. And there you have it. There's our first trout egg roll. Now we're gonna fry these, and it's gonna crisp up nice. So now y'all hang on, I'm gonna make us a handful of these, however much paper we've got, then we're gonna fry these up. All right, guys, there we have it. We got five good ones, and we got one little chintzy rascal. It's like a taquito or something. He don't even look like an egg roll. He's like a, that's a Vietnamese trout taquito right there. So here we go, guys. We're gonna get the oil rock and rolling, drop these things in, fry them up, and get the girls in here. They're outside right now doing a fun little video for Corey's channel, and uh, we're gonna get these fried up and get it going on, guys, and we're gonna give this a try. All right, y'all, we got our oil going. It's just vegetable oil, nothing special, no crazy oils. And we're gonna take our egg rolls, and we're just gonna drop them in there 
and deep fry these bad boys as long as they don't fall apart on this cutting board. All right, here we go. Egg roll number one. So far, so good. They're not falling apart. That rice paper is crisping up really nice. Guys, this is the first time I've ever tried to make an egg roll. So this is uh, this is just as exciting for me, hopefully as it is for y'all. I've never made these before. Like I said, I saw this on a channel I follow, a guy I really enjoy watching. He did something completely different. He's professional, obviously. I'm not, but uh, I am extremely excited about this and how this could turn out. So that rice paper is getting really crispy. Um, it's getting really crunchy. So I'm gonna let that go a few minutes more before we spin it over. Then we're gonna flip it over. If it's perfect, awesome. I'll fry the rest of them off camera so you guys don't have to watch it. And then we'll get the girls in here. We've got some fun sauces. We've got like a orange sauce. We got like a stir fry sauce. And we got those awesome, awesome hot sauces that we were sent. Uh, we really wanna try those. All right guys, here we go. Fried speckled trout egg rolls in rice paper. We're about to hit it up with that fired up hot sauce. We got a little bit of dipping sauce. We'll get the ladies in here and we're gonna get real time reviews. All right, ladies, come on. So you guys meet Brooke. Hi. This is Corey's bestie. <laughs> and of course you know this girl here, star right. of the show. Well, before we start, Brad, you're a, a prankster. This is speckled trout, this is not mullet. Don't worry about what's in the egg roll. <laughs> yes, it is speckled trout. That's the trout from yesterday when I was fishing with Mark and Christian. Okay. So we didn't use any of your fish from today because... Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> because I didn't catch any fish. That's exactly right. Uh -huh. All right, let's get into it. So in there is shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, jalapenos. There's green onions, ginger. Then we've got hoisin. We've got fish sauce. We've got a little bit of soy sauce, salt and pepper. Okay. And this sauce is... That's that orange, like orange. little orange dipping sauce you bought. And then these are the hot sauces that Mr. Andrew sent us. Okay. So it's like the orange chicken that you... Ordered. Okay. That's the orange sauce. Awesome. They're all the same. Is there a reason that this one's burnt? It's crispy. Okay. <laughs> it's crispy. Grab one, dip it in whatever you want, and give it a try. Oh, okay, so Homemade speckled trout egg rolls. We can wait till they cool down if you like. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth open because <laughs> I like it so much. <laughs> so Brooks bought in. All right, I'm down. I don't want to double dip. No, go double dip. It. Get in there. You can double dip. I'm gonna go. Go ahead. I'll let you. We're off from Alabama. You know what we do there. <laughs> double dipping ain't nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go from the other end that I've been in. So. You wanted to it's good. It's yeah. good. You like it? <laughs> Is the fish sauce too much? Mm -mm. No, it's not too much. It's good, Brad. Cordizzle. Hot. I love it. Yeah, it's just hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you did good. Again. Yeah. Again. As always. I approve. I'll eat another. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to try it with um the sweet heat. Okay. Cool. Oh, no. So one of our awesome subscribers sent us these fired up hot sauces. If y'all remember, uh, one of our videos, Brad did tacos and we mentioned our love of hot sauce. And so, like I said, one of our subscribers sent us this awesome fired up hot sauce to try. So um, before I put it on the egg rolls, I want to just taste it just to see what it tastes like. You're going in straight up. Yeah. You looked at the Scoville meter on the side, right? No, no, that's cool. Go ahead for it. They're mild. I don't need it. It's good. <laughs> I don't need it. So we've got chili pekin. I hope I'm saying that P word right. Pekin. We're going to go with pekin. And then we have sweet heat. So I'm going to go with the su sweet heat first. You're just going straight up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is good. 
Is it hot? This one right here is the bomb.com. <laughs> this is so good. It is, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I may have talked a little bit too much height that I can yeah. handle the heat. Yeah. This is really good. It's hot, but this is good. This would be really good on fish tacos, anything. Oh, I like that. Good. You're going to try the next one? You're I'm definitely going to put taste this on to grow back. <laughs> I need a, what is it, a, like a buffer. Yeah. Eat an egg roll. Okay. All right, let me take a bite of egg roll. Those are really good, Brad. They yeah. are. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you got I like almost it. demolished mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now the chili piquin. So what is that one in the temperature range? Is that hotter than oh, the sweet heat? It really does have a temperature yeah, range. Yeah, absolutely. Check this out. Okay. Oh no, this one's hotter than the other one. <laughs> Y'all see that? Can you see it on the camera? Yeah, this is gonna be fantastic. Okay. This one's hotter, but y'all, I'm still, this is, this is good. I'll put this on eggs for breakfast, anything. This nice. is really, really good. All right, let's get off of that chili piquin. Okay. Oh look, she's being all tender with it now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, get in there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Y'all let the flavor before you swallow it. <laughs> yeah. Your back of your throat. That is good too. Wow. It's good. Yeah, this is really good too. Cool. You I'm like gonna try sauce? it. Yeah, but I like sweet. You Get wanna, in there, try it. You want to dip your finger in it? Or you want me to make you another little no, puddle? Come on. That's really good. This one's my favorite. I like this one. This one's yeah, my favorite. That's really it's good. Hot, but it's, it's good. really good. <laughs> All right, Brad, you have to, we need your... Yeah, I need to get in here and dip an egg roll in there. Oh, man. You wow, need to taste that's... it before you get the egg roll. All right. Just dip your finger in the sweet one. It's hot. That's fine. It's so good. <laughs> that is fine. Yeah. That's really, really good. All right, go ahead and dip your egg roll. Yeah. Yeah, that's really, really good. Guys, I'm not just saying this. We're, we're not sponsored. The gentleman sent this to us to try it and give us an honest review. I'm putting a link in the description box for a reason. This is good. That sweet heat, it's hot, but it's got a fantastic flavor. That is so freaking good. Holy cow. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I'm going to try these egg rolls, and we're going to close this thing up, guys. Speckled trout egg rolls with a Jamaican Chinese Texas flair. Yeah, <laughs> that's freaking money. That's good. It took a little effort. It was a little bit harder to roll the egg rolls and fry them than I expected it to be. Like I think I underestimated the challenge, but it's definitely worth it. It's so good, guys. Order some of these rice papers and some rolls. Try it at home with the family. Do something a little di bit different with your fish. I think you'll find out this is really good. Girls, what do you think? Yeah, I like it, and it's something awesome. different too. Go ahead. No, I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Well, good deal. Guys, y'all know the deal. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we appreciate everything. Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you out there.